we just received some really unfortunate news for the industry that Indiana Beach, after 94 years of operation, is going to be closing its doors for good. And it looks like Fantasy Island in Grand Island, New York, is also facing a very uncertain future and will likely close down as well. So these two parks were removed from the Apex Parks website. Apex Parks is the company that owns these two parks along with a few other water parks. So they removed these parks from the website and also the 2020 season passes on Indiana Beach's website were saying sold out. People thought that was kind of weird I guess but just figured you know whatever um they maybe they just didn't want to sell any more season passes but now um you know we have this announcement so the weird thing is indiana beach has been selling season passes for 2020 and first of all i have to ask okay what are they going to do about those people that bought season passes we haven't heard that addressed um i'm sure that'll be taken care of but the real tragic thing here is you know of course the loss of indiana beach really unique charming park that unfortunately I never got the chance to visit. I really wanted to get to experience this park. I really did. It's always kind of been in the back of my mind for a while. Had we known about this before the end of last season, I definitely would have gotten out there. But it looks like this was probably actually a really last minute decision. Um, you know, like I said, they were selling 2020 season passes from my understanding just up until really, really recently. It looks like Apex Parks just decided that it was time to let go of this. Uh, they, they did say they've been trying to find a buyer for a long time, and they haven't found anybody that's been interested in acquiring Indiana Beach specifically anyway. So that's really a shame. Also, I haven't seen any of the listings yet, but I know that there are listings for many of the rides up online. Silver Comet, the CCI wooden coaster at Fantasy Island, that is up for sale. They're Wild Mouse as well, but then at Indiana Beach, I guess they have the steel coasters up for sale. But here's the really tragic part. The three classic Custom Coasters International Woodies at Indiana Beach are not going to be going anywhere. So... If you know Indiana Beach, you know that everything there is basically built on top of each other, and everything is just interwoven so tight together. And Hoosier Hurricane and Cornball Express, two of the wooden coasters, actually use some of the same support structure. You would basically have to move both of those rides together, essentially. And who's really going to want to do that? Wooden coasters are difficult enough as it is to transport and rebuild. And then also the really wacky Custom Coasters International Wooden Coaster known as Lost Coaster of Superstition Mountain. It used to have a dark ride in that structure. They replaced it with Coaster Track. Um, a really unique ride, really cool looking. But that is, you know, built really tightly into this little structure with all kinds of theming around it. Has a really weird system and like I said, that's also not for sale. So there is still a little bit of hope, I will say. Like, I guess there's a chance that somebody could swoop in, pick up this park and, you know, open it back up again, get it back to its former glory. But it's not looking good, guys. It's really not looking good. As far as we know right now, Indiana Beach is gone to history. Um, it's never going to reopen again at this point anyway. And I'm really sad about Fantasy Island as well because it looks like a really good small park. Really fun place. I really wanted to ride Silver Comet which is yet another classic Custom Coasters International wooden coaster. If you watch my bucket list coaster video from several months back, I actually had that in my honorable mentions because I think Silver Comet just looks like a really cool ride. Unfortunately it looks like I'm not going to get to ride any of these. And while we're on it, Indiana Beach actually, besides their wooden coasters, they have a unique collection of coasters overall. The wooden coasters are really unique. They have an old Schwarzkopf coaster called Tiger. So that's really unique. They have Steel Hog built by SNS, and not many of those have been built either. So they have some really unique rides. I think the Steel Rides have a pretty good chance of being bought and moved somewhere else. But for the wooden ones, it is not looking good. Even Silver Comet, you know, even though that's just a uh, wooden coaster that stands on its own, it's not built over anything, nothing complicated like that, I'm still not hopeful about that one being moved because wooden coasters just cost a lot of money to take down, move, and build somewhere else. So 
I'm really sad about this. Everybody's really sad about this. This really just came out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting this whatsoever. Let me know what you guys thought about Indiana Beach if you got to visit it. I've heard from some other videos that Apex Parks apparently, as far as I understand, was formed in 2014. They took over Indiana Beach in 2015. And now in early 2020, we have the announcement that Indiana Beach is closing. To me, that's really sad that this company came in, bought this park from the family that had been running it for so long and doing a really good job from what I've heard. And this brand new company formed, bought the park the next year, and five years later, it's just been ran into the ground. Um, this is a really tragic loss, I think. And, you know, obviously nobody got the, their chance to go back one last time, ride these things, or just get out there if they hadn't experienced it. It's just gone. So let me know what you thought about your experience at Indiana Beach if you got to go or if you wanted to go to Indiana Beach. Um, yeah, let me know all that in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.